friends today i am going to talk little bit on israel there has been change in prime minister and we need to see just an insight will there be a bigger change after this are we heading for a new israel naftali bennett he removed benjamin netanyahu who had been prime minister there for last a dozen of years with we will say a mild coup legal one where he was able to ally many such opposition parties smaller ones who had entirely different view from right to center to left with a single motive of removing netanyahu the new prime minister bennett something about him he is an ex ally of benjamin earlier prime minister and his views are said to be more right than benjamin he had been extremely vocal against iran and he had said that whatever happens he will not allow iran to go nuclear he has been firm supporter of a bigger land for israel for settlement of jews by removing the palestinians a firm ally of us imperialist power and this prime minister with a coalition of so many parties who is opposed to palestinians freedom what new is expected it was tussle of par with his ex ally benjamin probably wanted to become himself a prime minister which he succeeded at least for 2 years if things go okay so what is expected i'll come back to that before that one or two more examples of what man he is he is was a great supporter of settlement as i said in occupied west bank and east jerusalem when barack obama when he was president of usa somehow or other forced netanyahu to slow down the settlement he never said stop it when trump came the whole thing started again and that time this man has opposed barack obama opposed netanyahu for slowing down the whole thing so this right wing leader said to be very hard liner as far as security is concerned but same time his opponents his critics say he is a pragmatic person what is the meaning of pragmatic i don't know and it is said by none other but head of israel democratic institute so in this condition where this man has been swearing left and right had been raising the hatred against palestinians what else is expected what can be done and what is the agenda of this new prime minister with his coalition the new agenda it is said can have maximum what some social economic issues which they can pursue no political issues nothing to talk about on either it is two state israel or single state israel nothing would be talked on accelerating or decelerating the settlement issues the foreign issues zionism nothing can be talked about that because this coalition of eight party 
includes United Arab List with three members, three lawmakers. It is surprising, isn't it? But they succeeded managing 60 members for themselves. They were supposed to be 61. Just before the voting, one member switched over side to Netanyahu, who managed, who could not break another one. If he had broken another one, at present he is with 59, including himself. He would have become 60 and these guys would have remained in 59. So this anti-Netanyahu move has succeeded. Well, good or bad, some ray of hope for the Palestinians, though the Palestinian leaders have discarded this whole affair, said that nothing new is going to happen. But we the people world over when some new leader comes, get excited like Trump was kicked out by Biden. Here in India, the Congress was removed by BJP. Bozo succeeded by removing his predecessor. And so this man is going to be two years and as per their own internal engagement, he will hand over to another coalition party who is the second biggest, rather biggest, sorry, my fault, biggest, Jan Lipit. And in the meantime, for your information, NATO warns against rising Chinese influence globally and this concern was also raised in G7. What will be the role of Israel in that? Which side will it swift? Will it behave like New Zealand continuing its relation with China or like that Australia which has switched side and has taken the wrath of China where China has stopped all form of economic exchanges with Australia. Let us see friends, nothing much expected from this switch over. But then the people of Israel, be it Palestinian, be it Jews, be it other minorities and the world over must think how long they are going to do this and play this game of ping pong between one extreme right to another extreme right or to the right or to the center. Thank you friends.